before the break. Through the middle, Twig was held up, showed him on the body. He looked for here. It's one block. Oh, it's four hundred ways to get in, and it's Twig. At this point, Rovers with one last opportunity, maybe. Dennehy back in, headed in there by O'Man, and headed into the back of the net, and they're level. And I think it's Twig who's got it. He's Paul Skinner on to face Gary Twig. The delay between the foul and the kick didn't phase Twig one bit as he notched his four. What he's just done there, beautiful touch, open up the body, absolutely. And picked up Finn again inside the area. Finn had time to measure his cross for Gary Twig, and that was Twig's sixth goal of the season. Down, McCormick with the cross, and Twig claiming his second header of the evening. completed his first Tala hat-trick on 87 minutes. A quick one-two with McCabe and a classic Twiggy finish. Was the supplier for Twig, and this time he beat Quigley with a low shot. Twig's ninth league goal of the season. In only it was flicked into Gary Twig's path, and he had the presence of mind to pass the ball past Doherty. Twig's tenth league goal of the season in only nine games. Rice with the cross. Twig under this, Prendergast, and Twig! Well, he doesn't miss. Kennedy swings it in, the header off the line, a header again, it's in, it's Gary Twig. To a draw, Aaron Green got down the left to deliver a superb cross that Twig gratefully headed beyond Mark McNulty. It was equalised just minutes later, Biddy Dennehy's corner headed on by Graham Gartland. Shells Dean Delaney tried everything to keep it out, but the ball dropped to Gary Twig, and he made no mistake. Winger's effort flashed across the area before Twig got his head to it to divert it past Delaney. 